power of the cross. To recount in the life of St. John Bosco in the oratory that he actually brought his mother Margarita to live with him and to work with him to help out the boys. One occasion she had a really very difficult day and she had decided to go back to her house. So she was packed, ready to go, frustrated, couldn't put up with these boys anymore. They were just too much, too unruly, undisciplined. She told her son, John Bosco, that she was taking off. John Bosco, Father John Bosco, didn't say very much, but he took his mother by the arm and pointed to the wall. And the mother looked up and gazed at the wall. And on the wall was crucifix, Jesus nailed to the cross. The mother lifted her eyes and contemplated Jesus on the cross for a short time. Then after that contemplation, the mother dropped her bags, went back to work in the oratory to help out with these boys that John Bosco had adopted as his spiritual children. This story illustrates a very important lesson, especially in the time of Lent, especially on Fridays, is that we all have to carry crosses. Sometimes our crosses can be very heavy. Our cross could be a physical cross or an emotional cross. It might be a cross with a family member might be crossed with some interior doubt, might be crossed about reflecting upon the future. Crosses are many, many sizes, many colors, many forms. But if we contemplate Jesus who carried his cross, was nailed to the cross, and hung on the cross, shedding every drop of his special blood for us. That indeed can give us power and strength to carry our own cross. So may the prayers and words of the great Saint Francis of Assisi who had the stigmata be our prayers. As we say, we adore you Christ and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world.